Well, here we go again with another insufferable adult pretender being completely narcissistic on themselves and, and egotistical. Film fans roast Jennifer Lawrence after she falsely claims Hollywood never put women in the lead of action films before The Hunger Games. Jennifer Lawrence is known for her migraine-inducing moronic hot takes as well as, a, as well as a few Hunger Games movies, but her recent comments about female-led action franchises may have been her dumbest take to date, which is saying a lot. She, Hunger Games actress, had taken a short break from acting over the last few years to save democracy <laughs> but Lawrence is back with a vengeance and some statements that are driving cinema fans up a wall she recently sat down and did an interview with Viola Davis star of the woman king a film that blatantly whitewashes the real life history of the West African kingdom of Dahomey one of the most prominent slave trading states of the era and attempts to lionize them as anti-colonial heroes who fought against enslavement and oppression Mm-hmm. Viola Davis was, by the way, the one that said, if you don't go see this movie, then you're not supporting black actresses. According to History versus Hollywood, okay, the Dahomey warriors conducted slave raids on villages with accounts detailing they cut the heads off the elderly and ripped the bottom jawbones off others. Uh, but according to Jennifer Lawrence, because of its black female representation, The Woman King is the best movie of 2022. Uh, oh, and no. during the raids, they burned the villages to the ground. Those who they let live, including the children, were taken captive and sold as slaves. I think that The Woman King is the best movie I've seen this year, hands down, and the best movie I've seen in so long. Comment wasn't the dumbest thing Lawrence said during the interview. While discussing The Woman King and the Hunger Games franchise, Lawrence made the blatantly false claim that Hollywood had never put a woman in the lead of an action movie before. I don't know, was The Hunger Games before X-Men First Class? Or was X-Men First Class after the or before The Hunger Games? I don't know. Because she was one of the female leads of that movie. Lawrence, who earlier this year claimed to be a victim of sexism because she was paid five million less than Leonardo DiCaprio for the next Netflix film, Don't Look Up. Uh, told Davis nobody had ever put a woman in the lead of an action movie because it wouldn't work. We were told girls and boys can both identify with a male lead, but boys cannot identify with a female lead. She continued, and it just makes me so happy every single time I see a movie come out that just blows through every single one of those beliefs. Right down here, uh, we have Alien, Aliens, Terminator 1 and 2, Long Kiss Goodnight, Resident Evil, five, movies, five of those, uh, La Femme Nikita, Kill Bill Volume 1 and 2, the Underworld Franchise, Charlie's Angels 1 and 2, Tomb Raider 1 and 2, V for Vendetta, G.I. Jane, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Cutthroat Island. Did they really bring up Cutthroat Island? The, one of the worst movies of all time? Yeah, those are just some examples. Oh, we got even more. We, uh, Columbiana, Haywire, Hannah Wanted, Run Lola Run, The Fifth Element, Serenity, Brave, Alien 3, Alien Resurrection, Alien vs. Predator, Alien vs. Predator 2, Buffy and the Vampire Slayer, The Descent, Point of No Return, Eon Flux, Bad Girls, Foxy Brown, Death Proof, Sucker Punch, Electra, Coffee, River Wild. This is, uh, oh, more. Ultraviolet, Planet Terror, Prometheus, Blood Rain, The Brave One, Snow White and the Huntsman, Lady Snowblood, Banditas, Momentum, Catwoman, Panic, Mortal Kombat. I, I would, wouldn't even have thought of half of those. So there are many, many, many movies that were that put the, a female lead in an action role, and many of them were better than The Hunger Games. Here are just a, a few examples of the actresses: Sigourney Weaver, Jane Fonda, Gina Davis, Angelina Jolie, Mila Jovovich, Kate Beckinsale, Charlize Theron, and I swear they don't even know the history of their own business. They just say things, and that's true. They do. They just say things. Just like I said in my last video. They just say things to 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 say things because they're narcissists. The Transformers, Rise of the Beasts being a movie about black and Latino representation. It's not. It's a movie about 
fighting robots. So they don't think about what they say. And I, I, they're just pushing this representation narrative out there, no matter what. No matter what. David Levitt tweeted Jennifer Lawrence proclaiming she was the first woman to ever be the lead of an action movie. Clearly, she never saw Sigourney Weaver's Alien franchise. Which was much better. At least the first two. Alien and Aliens. I'd watch them over the Hunger Games any day. So, there you go. Jennifer Lawrence being dumb. Just being dumb. And then they deleted the tweet uh, that they put out there about her saying it, Variety, put the tweet out there and then immediately deleted it after uh, just a few minutes. I think it was six minutes. But luckily we have people out there that catch them before they can delete it and screenshotted it. And that's about all I had for you today, for this one anyway. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence, she's good to look at. I'll give her that. But according to some of her... Uh, political beliefs and some of her antics for uh, SJWs and uh, some of her comments that aren't factual. She seems like an insufferable. See you next Tuesday. <laughs> Don't forget to like and share this video to all your friends. Leave a comment down in the comment section and I will see you next time.